Uh, so we're here at the Friends of the Dillon Ranger District um, up on uh, Vale Pass on the, the Shrine Mountain uh, Trail. We're building some turnpike here, hopefully getting 30 feet of it done, which it looks like we're, we're well on our way. And it's essentially just installing uh, treated rounds and filling it with rocks of varying size and topping it with gravel. And this essentially just elevates the tread of the trail and uh, hopefully we'll be, be around for a long time. Thank you for doing your work. Yeah. Friends of the Dillon Ranger District will we'll partner with, with different uh, local organizations. Today uh, we're partnering specifically with Copper Mountain Resorts. They help us kind of recruit volunteers and are a big supporter of ours. Uh, in addition, we have uh, a group from CoBank on the, uh, in the front range from Denver, and they brought up a, uh, a contingent of volunteers working really hard. So, real collaborative uh, atmosphere. Yeah, we're getting a ton done today. Well, today um, I've come to join the Friends of the Dillon Ranger District. FDRD is an important uh, partner with Copper Mountain. Right over there, you can see uh, our beautiful mountain and our beautiful slopes. And so uh, we are strategic partners in taking care of the area. Copper Mountain does two of these days every year, and we encourage employees to you know, take off their from their daily job here and come help with trail maintenance. If you've been around not just here, but you know, all hiking trails, you know, need so much maintenance. And so the importance is, you know, decreasing the ecological impact of a trail has. Um, this year, CoBank gave all our employees a volunteer day. We could do whatever we want, uh, paid day off. And uh, me and a bunch of my coworkers and friends decided to uh, do some trail clearing in the place where we come to play up in, uh, up near Vail. So we're here uh, clearing rocks and uh, building a trail. I think there's uh, six or seven of us here today. So in 2014, we had between eight and 900 volunteers, over 300 of those being youth, which is uh, under 18. We feel like this is kind of uh, passing the torch to the next generation. So we feel the educating of, of the youth is very important. For production purposes, it's obviously helpful to have uh, adults out here working and uh, swinging the picks. So we can always use more people. Forest Service uh, resources are limited. There's really something for everybody. We do bridge demolition. Uh, we've built a couple of bridges already. We've done some watershed restoration. We work with a couple of other uh, organizations doing this same kind of thing. We've got between 50 and 60 projects going on this season um, and probably about that, that number for next season as well. We invite anybody who uses and recreates on these trails to come out and give us a hand. At the start of the day, we kind of go over the goals of the project. We go over tool safety and uh, safety in general on, uh, on Forest Service land. So generally speaking, it gets divided up basically based on people's uh, willingness and desire uh, and capabilities. So we don't push anybody too hard. We want people to be out here having, uh, having a good time and uh, enjoying themselves, enjoying the experience. There's something, something for everybody. We have a couple, Mern and Joel Bittler, turning 80 this year, and uh, they're still out here hauling rocks. We're helping for the third time to uh, finish some of the work on the turnpike here on this well-used trail. Well, we're very fortunate because we've lived here for 25 years. We're retired and we think we ought to give back as much as we can. So we do an awful lot of volunteer work, not only for friends of the Delta Ranger District, but friends of Eagles Nest. We do work on the bike path and we just like to volunteer as much as we can to make this place a better place for everybody. Basically our organization uh, would not be able to function without the help of uh, local volunteers as well as volunteers uh, coming in from the front range. Quite simply it would just be myself out here building this trail without, uh, without all these volunteers. Anything, anything that, that uh, we can help out the Forest Service, I think it's like a quarter, quarter of a million acres they have to, to, that they're responsible for. So I just feel extremely fortunate to be in this position. I think a lot of people would trade places with me getting to deal with, with people who enjoy being outside and who are invested in, in the place that we live in, which is, which is a, a spectacular place. I'm extremely lucky to be here, to be getting to work with, with, uh, with all these good folks. We've got a, we've got a staff that's, uh, and board that's, that's very invested as well. Yeah, we want everybody to come out. Uh, we want to share, uh, share this opportunity, this experience with everybody, and at the same time, helping out our, uh, our public lands. 
Now, this is the first time we've had this kind of an opportunity. Um, I wasn't really sure what I was getting myself into. It's been a blast. It's, uh, we've had a lot of fun working with Dillon Rangers. This is what I like to do in my you know, free time, hike around in the mountains, so it's great to, to give back. And so that's where I find, find the reward for sure. Well, it makes me feel good that there's something we're doing that will be here in perpetuity. Uh, it, it makes us feel good that we got something really solid accomplished.